Hello and welcome guys. So today in this tutorial we are going to learn how to model a water bottle. So I'll just go ahead and import our reference image for the bottle. You can download this from the link description. Again we are going to start using a cylinder in the subdivision axis to 24 and then we are going to adjust it according to our reference image select the faces on the top and deselect this so that it will select only the faces on the top then extrude, press G to repeat, G again, Select these faces and extrude them outwards a little bit and decrease or increase the offset. I'll select these vertices and move them down up till here. Go into edge mode, double click these edges, bevel it and add a bevel of around 0 0.2 with three subdivisions so before we get started on this area let's just adjust this upper part and then after that we can start with that part insert a few more edges here with edge flow and multi-cut and move this down slightly use edit edge flow move this up edit edge flow again So we now have a nice topology here. So now we can go ahead and select this edge and bevel it with 0 0.25. Select these edges and bevel them as well. Not so much, just tiny bits like 0 0.15. And select these edges as well and bevel them too. What I'll do is select this vertex and press Ctrl plus F11 and delete. And now when I press 3 for subdivision preview, it looks smooth. Okay, so now let's go ahead and model the bottle cap. To do that, I am not going to create another cylinder. I'll just reuse this. So I'll select this face, shift, double click this face so that it will select the faces in this whole loop. Shift, right click and then duplicate faces. Go into object mode, deselect the bottle, 
and now we have only this part let's just change the pivot to center to do that you can hold D on your keyboard right click and click reset pivot or you can do alternatively you can go to modify and center pivot okay so now let's go back to the front view and now let's increase the scale go into vertex mode move this up go into perspective go into edge mode and extrude scale and merge to center now go into edge mode double click this edge bevel and change the fraction according to the reference 0 0.1 and now I'll just turn on my x-ray mode to see through the bottle cap is up there here go into perspective mode again let's see how does this look and now we also need the seal of the cap so i will just select double click this edge shift and extrude and now i'll select this face and double click this face with holding shift and then i'll extract these faces out of this object so now these two are separate objects select this edge move it down and now we can combine these two again delete history by holding alt shift d press ctrl plus e to extrude and i will extrude this inward a little bit now select this hold spacebar on your keyboard and go to mesh display and click reverse to reverse the normals so when i press 3 for subdivision preview this is how it looks i don't want it to look like this so what we need to do is we need to add a few holding edges so i'll isolate this first by pressing ctrl plus one and add a holding edge here and here and here and here as well So when I press 3, we get these sharp edges. An alternative way to do this so that it is consistent is select all these edges and just bevel them by pressing Ctrl plus P so that now you have much more control. And now when I press 3, I have a consistent result throughout all the edges. So now I can go ahead and insert a few more edges without the edge flow over here. And now our bottle cap is almost done. Select this vertex, press Ctrl plus F11 to convert it to, into face. Extrude and extrude it just one more time and done our bottle cap is done let's change the shading of the bottle to soft soft and harden by holding shift right click soft and harden edges and soft and harden so now let's go ahead and work on this area of the bottle so to do that Let's go into our front view by holding space bar and right click and front. And I'll turn on my x-ray mode. And now what I will do is, let's go ahead and delete this edge. I'll add an edge here. And 
and what I will do is I'll add a few more edges let's see how many edges do we need we need one two three edges that are equally spaced from each other so to do that you hold shift right click and go to insert edge loop tool and click on this box and you can specify so you can specify how many edges you want you have to click on multiple edge loop and just press 3 and when you click on this edge you get exactly 3 edges and now let's go ahead and add one more edge here with just multi cut anywhere over here also. so what we are going to do is turn on soft selection by pressing B on our keyboard and how this works is you have an affected area when you select any vertex or any edge or face as well so let's say I just select this vertex so when I will move this vertex it will also move the other vertices affected with soft selection so let's go ahead and move it so if this moves this vertex 100% it will move this maybe 80% and this one 60 and 50 and 20 and 0 so that's how it works so if I increase my soft selection by holding B on my keyboard and middle mouse and drag so I can increase the area I can affect yellow being 100% and black being almost zero so now let's go ahead and go ahead in the front view and let's select this vertices these vertices front and back select these and select these basically we have selected four vertices so let me just show you one two three and four so go back to front view and now I'll turn on my soft selection by pressing B and now I'll increase the value by holding B and middle mouse and drag up till here and now I will move it down slightly so now this is how we have the shape that we need so now go into object mode again and just readjust these vertices so they so that they are not as sharp as they are right now then now we can hold control and shift and move them down slightly so now we have a uniform line now go into front view and turn off isolation now what we can do is we can add one more edge here delete these faces and go into vertex mode and make sure that this is straight so scale them in Y and bring it somewhere around here and now just go into edge mode and select this adjust it somewhere here extrude it and then bring it up till here so now we need one two three four edges between these so again go into insert edge loop tool and type four here and now we have four equally spaced edges and now we can go ahead and bridge these two maybe we can scale this a little bit and 
barrel this as well to get a curve. And now we have the edge detail that we need. So now what we are going to do is we are just going to select the edges that we need to add detail on. And this, and now I'll go ahead and just bevel this with 0 0.25 offset. And now just go into face mode and select these faces. And now I can just extrude them out slightly and increase the offset so that we have a round of transition. Now when I press 3 on my keyboard, we have a smoother transition. Now what we can do more is we can add one more edge in between over here. Now I'm adding it with the edge flow so that it automatically creates an offset inwards. If you want, you can also add a bevel to make it more sharper. Press Ctrl plus B. And we can also insert edges in the center of these areas. Now this has a rounder flow. And we can also add a few more edges over here. And the upper part of the bottle is complete. So now what we can do more is we can also add some detail over here. Select this vertex, press Ctrl plus F11, scale. Move this down, extrude again and scale. And add a bevel. So now I'll go ahead and add some more details on the bottom of the bottle. So I'll just add a smooth on this and go into my bottom view. Press F to zoom in and select these faces that are perpendicular to these edges. I'll select any or just one of these. I'll hold tab on my keyboard to select these. Don't want these. And now what I will do is I'll just extrude them, increase an offset, and select these two edges. And just scale them slightly by holding Ctrl and Shift. And we can select these vertices and move them down. So what I'll do is select these faces and move them down slightly and give it some extrude. Now when I press 3, I have these details on the bottom of the bottle. So I'll make sure that this is circular and not affecting the shading. So I'll just 
get rid of circularized components and it could fix any issues related to that and now if I want to repeat these details over so what I'll do is I'll just select these faces increase the selection by holding shift plus dot and then shift right click and duplicate face object mode deselect and now I'll change the pivot to the center of the bottle center of the bottom of this area by holding T and V to snap it with the vertex and middle mouse drag on this point so that it snaps with this point and then I want to how many copies do I really want let's say one two three four five six copies so I need to divide 360 by 6 360 divided by 6 that is 60 so I need to rotate this 60 degrees each time I duplicate so I'll just turn on my channel box so that you guys can see so I'll just press E on my keyboard press ctrl D to duplicate and now I can rotate it so what I will do is I'll hold J on my keyboard to snap it to 15 degrees each time I rotate so I will hold J on my keyboard and select Y axis for rotation this one and rotate it and you can see on the right that it is changing to 15 30 45 and 60 60 okay and now what I need to do is I won't go ahead and duplicate this again and and do the same process again what I'll do instead is just press shift plus D on my keyboard so that it will copy whatever I have done before so we have six copies of this now so I'll just go ahead and delete this one because it is already there and now I'll select these objects and combine them and unhide our object and now what we need to do is we need to delete the faces that have these details so how we can do that is I'll just delete this okay so now we can go ahead and easily delete these parts because we already know now which areas to delete and I accidentally delete this area as well which I was not supposed to do but we will fix that double click these deselect this and bridge Double click this, deselect this, and bridge. Okay, done. And I think I deleted this as well. So let's just fix that. Bridge. And we are good to go. So now what we need to do is we need to combine these this object with this one. So select this and this, and shift right click combine. And when you press 3, and turn off my wireframe and you notice something strange happening over here the edges the reason this is happening is because the vertices are not merged together so if I select this and 
you see these are not really merged so what we need to do is merge them so I'll select all these vertices over here hold shift right click merge vertices and merge vertices so right now it merged all the vertices over here we don't want a very high threshold we, what we need is something like 0 0.001 and now when you press 3 you won't get that weird shading and maybe we can also do something like this And let's give it a bevel. Add some bevel to these as well. And now we have our details. We can assign a shiny material to it. Assign shiny material to this as well, and our bottle is complete. I hope you guys learned something, and see you guys for the next time.